Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. And King of Floors, your vinyl, laminate, and engineered flooring superstore. All of our guests today, Tuesday, are sponsored by Skipper Auto, supporting Canadian fishing families through a revolutionary seafood buying experience. Check them out online at skipperauto.com. Prescott Valley is a, a town. I guess it is a valley, Thank too. Thank you. 47,000. <laughs> population of 47,000 only. Yeah. Uh, north, of, about 100K north of uh, Arizona. Okay. Yeah, the population of Prescott and Prescott Valley combined is over 90,000. Okay. Yeah. So... So there's it's a, just like the Fraser Valley. Everything's, you know, you combined it all. Yeah. Okay. So we don't know if that's uh, confirmed yet. No, we just it's, it's stuff you hear. Okay. Stuff you hear. Uh, uh, let, let's bring in Todd Diamond. Now, Todd is Nikita Trampkin's uh, agent. Uh, Nikita's KHL season is over. Can't play in the NHL this season, but uh, Canucks have his rights up until the end of next season. And there's a whole lot of people who would love to see the big guy uh, back in Canucks blue and green. Uh, Todd Diamond, thanks for doing this. How are you, sir? Not too bad, gentlemen. How are you guys? Very, very well, good. Very, very good, well. Todd. H have you been in touch with the Canucks regarding Nikita Trampkin lately? Uh, uh, we've had, you know, some just pr very short preliminary uh, discussions and and uh, trying to set up time uh, uh, in the near future when we can, uh, you know, see if we can come to a meeting of the minds. Well, what What does Nikita want, Todd? Nikita wants to return uh, to the NHL. Uh, he's Wanted to do that last summer, um, last off season, I should say, and uh, you know it, it didn't work out. Um, and he still has the same desire to to show people that he can be a a full time uh, successful uh, player in the NHL. Uh, he he's been he left Vancouver, spent uh, four seasons in the K. How would you describe his last four seasons there, Todd? Um, I, I would say uh, very uh, consistent and very solid. Um, you know, he's not a, a, a client or a player that I, I want to define by, you know, goals and assists, mm -hmm. which, you know, everybody seems to be drawn to, uh, you know, some guys have to do the dirty work, uh, or the, you know, do the work that does not always appear in the score sheet, but it's appreciated by coaches and teammates. And that's how I view uh, Nikita, um, create, you know, making uh, space, making life easier for the goalie, making good first passes and being a physical presence when it's called for. Do you believe he's a top four NHL defenseman? I believe he is. I believe he is. I, th I think uh, you know it's, it's a different person from the guy who who left uh, Vancouver four years ago. Um, he, he's made a commitment, to, you know, to being in shape, to being a, the best pro he can be, to having a good diet. Uh, he's he's slimmed down significantly uh, since then. Um, so uh, I, I mean, he, you know, he really is all in. He he wants to get things going. He wants to spend a good chunk of the summer before training camp, uh, you know, in Vancouver and, and work uh, with the Canucks staff, uh, you know, to be ready to hit the ground running. Hey, Todd, is there, uh, in your minds, a deadline here? Because I think uh, teams in Russia also want to know if they can sign players going back for next year. Is there, do you have a soft deadline or any deadline, Todd, that you got to get this done with the Canucks or else he's got to go back to Russia? Uh, well, I'm, I think something like this, you know, it, you know, it's, it's not going to drag out, you know, a, a month or so. We're, we're going to know if there's going to be a way to do it or, or, or not, or it's not going to happen. Uh, is there a specific date? Not really, but you know, I would, I would say, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to drag out over months. That's for certain. Todd, uh, people in this city, and, and you're quite aware of Canucks Twitter, <laughs> but people in this city bring up, you know. Uh, you know, when the first time he left, oh, he was a baby, he left, this, that. But mm -hmm. you you made a good point about maturity. Uh, he's a more mature person now. He understands more. When you go back to the first time he left, Todd, um, are you happy that he is now figuring things out? And was that just, in your eyes, the, the maturity of a per, of a player and a person? Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, last summer I was already there. You know, he, you know, he, I didn't tell him, you know, he's to make a commitment. He's the one who told me that he had already started to make the commitment, um, you know, to, to training and, and, and diet and lifestyle. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a definitely maturity. I think it's seeing a lot of, um, you know, guys in his age group that have come over and had success. Uh, he feels, you know, he, he should be a part of that group. Um, 
And, uh, you know, if you don't learn from from past uh, situations, then, you know, you're never going to grow as a person. And I, I think he's done that. I think, uh, you know, being married longer, having a child, uh, all these things uh, are, are factors uh, that have, uh, you know, made him a better person. Hey, Todd, the people I talk to in, in Russia, they, they say he had a really good season under Bill Peters. Uh, when you get an NHL coach like uh, Peters, uh, did that help him in his uh, development this year? I think it is. I think, you know, by, by nature, with the experience of a, an NHL coach, a North American coach, it's going to be more demanding. Uh, I, I think uh, the systems are going to be more, you know, have more rhyme and reason um, than you'll get from uh, a Russian coach from my almost three decades of experience of working there. Um, so uh, I, I, it, it can only help. Uh, no question about it. If you don't cut a deal with the Canucks here in the next two, three, four weeks, uh, he's only got one year left in Vancouver, Todd. Would it be safe to say that he, he would probably walk if you don't cut a deal this time around? Uh, I think that, you know, the writing would be on the wall. Couldn't be more clear. <laughs> um, but, you know, his, his desire is to try and, and come back and, and give it another go around in, in Vancouver. We're talking with Todd Diamond. He's Nikita Trampkin's uh, agent. Uh, Todd, when uh, Nikita was here first time around, Willie D. Willie Desjardins was his coach. What is what does Nikita remember most about his time, his two seasons in Vancouver? Ah, uh, what does he remember most? <laughs> Good sushi. No, um, <laughs> I, I, I think uh, you know. I, I think um, you know. You know the communication uh, could have been better. Uh, he was yeah. fine with Willie. I think it was more of the, of the uh, you know, defensive coach at the time. Um, I, I think his last year when the team was out of the playoffs. Doug Lister. Doug Lister. Uh, yeah, Doug Lister. Yeah, I think yeah. they should have uh, you know leaned on uh, Nikita a little bit more so he could see the future um, of what a potential role could have been at that moment. Um, but again, it doesn't uh, you know it really make sense you know to look back. Um, mm. You know, he, he's, he's grown since then, and, uh, um, you know, we're just hopeful for, for better things. When you say, and you, I know you don't want to look back at all times, but you, you, you said it earlier, you have to learn from it. Uh, when you say leaned mm-hmm. on him more, does that speak to his conditioning back then, which you referred to earlier? I mean, that's part of it. I'm, I'm, I mean, uh, you know, the, the coaching stuff by no means was uh, the total problem. Uh, Nikita had his own issues, uh, you know, immaturity. And, and figuring things out. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, there need to be a, kind of a meeting, uh, you know, in the middle, which could have happened. But, um, you know, maybe it just wasn't the right time. Sometimes it's just not the right time and the player's not open for it or the, the coaches don't want to hear it. So, um, you know, it, it just wasn't uh, the right moment. And uh, but it's a much different person now. And um, he's had conversations with Travis Green uh, last summer, um, which went well. So, um uh, you know, I, th- I think it's just a totally uh, different situation. Okay, uh, Todd. Before you go, Rick, the the um, our white spot poll question. What are the uh, oh, uh, Todd? Uh, yeah, I think you'll like this. Uh, our poll question would. I, I don't know much about Prescott Valley. If that's what you're going to ask. Me. Okay, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the mayor? Who's the mayor of Prescott Valley? <laughs> no, no. Would Nikita Trump can help the Canucks? Uh, we got 1,300 votes, and 62 percent say Todd. Yes, he would help. So uh, the people of Vancouver are speaking right now, and they, uh, I think they want Nikita Trampkin back in Vancouver. Great. Well, I'm starting like in a bet against my guy. So <laughs> There you go. Todd, thanks for this. Appreciate it. All the best. Anytime, guys. Take care.